Hey guys, didn't see you there. 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 Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, the Lazy Eye video has been getting a lot of hits, like more than I've ever imagined. I didn't think it'd be that interesting for you guys. I thought, cause I, you know, I, I was, I was, I wasn't born with it. I've had it since I was four, so you know, I've lived with it forever. So I didn't think it was that interesting. So I was like, oh, hey guys, look what I can do. And I basically made a video doing that. And you guys blew it up. I'm getting about a thousand views on this video per month. So I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys, um, people who found my business email, which is uh, datcassandra at gmail.com. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can email me or put it in the comments, either way. Uh, if you guys have any ideas on new videos, you have any suggestions, you know, hopefully nothing too weird. YouTube. All right, so I was given uh, some questions from a fan and um, so I have three people I need to thank in this video. I have M Mary, uh, she uh, messaged me on my, my DatCast Facebook page. Mary Jewel Della Serna A A Pan. Oh, I'm trying. Mary Pan, you know what, hold it. Mary Jewel Della Serna A Pan. Thank you to you, and thank you to a adorable little second grader in California named Ari. He and his father emailed me telling him that he liked my video and he wanted to ask me questions because he has a, a similar thing, and he asked me to put his name in a video, so hey. Hi from Arizona, Ari, how you doing? How's class? You keeping up in your homework? You eating your vegetables? Are you? Because I can tell if you're not. Get it? Like, it's a, it's a dumb joke. Steve, my friend Steve, who's actually, um, we've never met, but he's a fan of mine and he sent me all these questions, all these wonderful questions. So I'm going to be answering some of these and trying to give you guys a better uh, understanding of how my eye works because apparently um, I get a lot of questions about it and um, it's hard to explain, you know, in a little chat box. So I'm gonna read these, let you guys know exactly what's going on. And uh, do I look okay? Are my pigtails aligned? All right. Okay, so what do you see when your lazy eye is turned in as your right eye is dominant? Okay, so what I see now, um, imagine overlapping images, right? So my right eye, I can see everything is normal, but my left eye is coming in and I can see kind of the same thing at an angle. So I see what the left eye sees on top of what my right eye sees. It's kind of this weird overlapping, but for some reason my left eye, I learned to ignore it more. So now it's just more of a, um, it's kind of see-through now. I can totally just ignore it and I'm paying attention to you guys right now, but it's off doing its own thing. But I can see what's going on over there. <laughs> Like I can, um, I have a little mermaid statue in the corner. And so when I'm looking at you, can all, I can also see the mermaid statue head on as well as to the side of it. So I can see like this double angle of things. And um, uh, it's, 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 it can be really confusing when you don't know what to look at for a long time. Sometimes when I get really confused, I just close one of my eyes. Ah, there you go. See one of everything, everything's clear, everything's fine. And then, whoops, I fixed it. I'm so used to fixing it. And, um, so right now I just see overlapping images with one uh, stable image that I keep my eye on the entire time. I keep my vision on that one stable image, which is my right eye, my dominant eye. This one, I can just kind of see things over it, but it's not obstructing my vision too much to where I can't see anything else, if that makes sense for you guys. I'll put this on, it's because it's distracting and I can't read very well without it. How does it feel to keep having to keep your lazy eye in a position that is aligned with your right. Um, does it hurt? No, it does not hurt. It just takes a little bit of brain power. Um, there we go. Um, it doesn't hurt. In the beginning, it did kind of strain my eyes because I had to force it. You know, I wasn't really comfortable with it. My muscles didn't really know what it was doing. But since I've gotten used to it over the years, I don't really feel anything when I do it. It's just kind of like a boop, boop. It's just something I can do now. It's just like a, 
it's not really anything to me. I just have to think about it. And I have to think about it to keep it that way. I can't just like do this and then not think about it and it's fine. I have to constantly think about it, but it's hard to forget because my vision is different when it's like this. I can see, okay, I'm gonna just, okay. This is a kind of like a two-parter. Does this, does this process take away some of your thinking? Say you're already in a discussion and suddenly your AZI wants to hide in the corner, but you want to keep it there looking straight with your right eye. Does this distract you? Um, it doesn't necessarily distract me. It distracts the other person, let me tell you. So oh, well, imagine this. Okay, hold up. If you're already in a discussion. All right. So if I'm talking to somebody and I'm like, hey, have you seen that new uh, that mo new movie that just came out? The one, uh, fuck it. I mean, pretty, yeah. <laughs> let's just pick a movie and then pretend to talk about it. Um, Beauty and the Beast. I haven't seen it. So have you, have you guys seen that new Beauty and the Beast movie? You know, um, where the Beast looks a little bit different and not everything was the same. Have you noticed that? It's, it's not really what I would consider uh, a good reboot. Because, like, I don't know, I, I, I like cartoons better than I actually like the uh, live action versions that Disney do, but it's, 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 it's a little bit nicer, because, I mean, you get to see it in a different perspective, which is not something that a lot of people get to do, and, yeah, see, I can just do it. <laughs> I can do it while talking. Um, it does take half a second to think about, you know, you have to be like, go, and then it does it, and then you can just keep on doing whatever it is you're doing. Um, when I'm doing something, I don't normally switch my eyes, even if it's a lazy eye. I just keep doing what I'm doing until I done it's done, and then I switch it back. You know, because it 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 is a little confusing, but like as long as you keep your mind on whatever task you're doing, it's not that hard. I mean, <laughs> can you see anything with your lazy eye when you're moving it? I never thought about that. Let me just check. Yes, I can see. Um, remember I told you about the overlapping images. Imagine one constant image and one's like over here, right? Okay, well, and it's kind of over here, but my eyes over here, like, okay, it's weird because when I see it, this is the stable image, right? The stays. This one, I can see one now. I can see one image. And when I see it, I can see this image aligning with this one. So um, all it does is fixes itself and it moves. For some reason to me, it moves like this. Because well, I'm looking forward and this one's looking at you, but this one is in there for some reason. Weird. That's odd. I've never noticed how my eye goes when I focus it. It looks like it's going that way. Huh, that is, what, okay, what happens is the overlapping images become one and then everything becomes blurry because I can't really see when they're like this. The longest I've can, I can, I, it does clear sometimes, like I can see a clear image like if I blink enough. Okay, a little bit. The longest I've ever had a clear image without my glasses on and having my eyes straight was about five minutes. And that was straining, like that was hard. But uh. I did see normal for a while, which is like amazing to me. Um, but yeah, so overall I see overlapping images and then a blur. That's what I see when I strain my eyes. Um, what are you thinking as they go through the transition from eye to eye? I just think, uh, do it. And it does it like do it. Like, it's, I don't even have to think about it. Like, there's no certain command to do it. It's just like, I think about it and it just instantly happens. Like, you know, it just kind of, yeah. It's gotten to the point where I don't have to really think about a certain, like, okay, you're gonna do it now. No, it just, it just does it. You know, it just like, go. See, it just does, that's. So I don't really think anything except for do it. Like, I don't think of the actual words, but I tell myself to do it and it does it just instantly. I don't really need. Um, have you ever tried moving your lazy eye to look at them as you were talking to them? How did they respond? Oh boy, my friends. Um, I did. Um, I've done this before during a conversation and, um, they just thought it was funny. Um, I wasn't, I was just like, they were talking and I'm over here like, 
Yep, I totally agree with you. I get you 100%. I mean, this is, this is something that we both agree upon. I mean, like, don't worry, I got you entirely. This is not something you have to, like, think alone. Like, I'm here for you. Like, you know, you're fine. <laughs> you know, and they thought it was funny. Um, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't do it in serious conversations because, like, that's just rude. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I, I mean... I like to do this thing where I do the lazy eye before I tell them I have one. <laughs> it's just really funny because I'll be like, it's like, I'll do, whoops, I'll do that. And they'll say, what were you doing? You look, you look dumb. And I'm like, that's my face. And then I'll tell them and they're like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. And I'm like, no, it's, it's honestly, it doesn't even hurt me anymore. Like, I think it's funny. Like, I do myself personally. I'm not saying that anybody who has it, like, looks funny or anything. But, like, to me, that's just how I cope with it. You know, I'm like, hey, bleh. You know, I turn into comedy. I love comedy. That's how I just, that's how I roll through things. I take serious things and I make them dumb because then I feel better about them. Most, com a lot of comedians do that. I mean, it's nothing new. I've never, I haven't created anything new. Um, how's your vision without glasses when you're keeping your eyes together? Like I said, blurry, um, not blurry to the point where I can't tell where everything is, just blurry to, enough to the point where I can't see tiny details. Like I know where everything is and I know everything and I know what it says relatively, but it's just like, if you're ever focusing a camera, like right, like it's a little bit bef right before the perfect focus, like it, it's just slightly blurry to the point where it's annoying and you can tell something's wrong but not to the point where it's, you can't tell what anything is. If that makes sense to you guys. So some other things that I think would clear some stuff up. Um, I do, uh, I, I believe from what we've tested and what I've been told that I am far sighted. I can't read stuff that's like right here. You can't do it, you can't do it. But stuff over here, you better believe I can read it out over here. You better believe I can read it. Um, yeah, my eyes are blurry when they're straight. Um, let's see what else. I, um, when I take off my glasses and I put them in front of my eyes, they make them look huge. See? Like, ah! Normal eyes, big eyes, normal eyes, big eyes. Hey guys, how you doing? Big eyes. Ah. I used to do that with the children at Taekwondo. They thought it was hilarious. Um, so yeah, uh, I can't read very well without my glasses. I, can, I can't do anything that needs to be looked at in detail without my glasses, but I can like run, jump, swim, fight without my glasses on totally okay um let's see what was another thing uh my friends what they think about it they don't even care really they don't even remember sometimes i have it because i always have my glasses on they always uh forget um especially because i can keep them straight it you know some people even question if it's real it's real it's i don't know why you'd fake this it's not it's not very fun to have um when I was younger, it was it's the worst. It was the worst thing to have. Um, <laughs> the worst thing for me was at night when I had to like go to the bathroom or get water, and I and like you know I'm tired, so everything's kind of like blurry anyways. You guys know what I'm talking about when you're tired, blurry. I get up from the night, I look over at a doorknob, and the doorknob is there's two of them, and I'm already blurry, and I'm like, which one's the real doorknob? And I'm grabbing at air because I think that's where the doorknob is. I'm like doorknob. When it's actually like over there, I'm like, eh, eh, eh. Uh, one time I remember I cried because <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to get out. <laughs> and it was nighttime and it was dark and I was tired and I couldn't see anything right. And I was just like, I just want to use the bathroom. And it was just really sad. Girl was a sad child. Just kidding. I was actually a pretty happy child despite whatever. It's so funny because if no one knew what happened, all my pictures of me up to the age of four, I have no glasses. And then out of nowhere, bam, I have all glasses. All my pictures have glasses. It's just like, 
if you don't know what's going on, like, what happened between that that made you not be able to see? And I was like, I don't know. It just, it just did that. It just did whatever it wanted to. And I had to just deal with it because I can't really like fix it. I mean, now I can because, oh, but um, not really, I can't fix it. A lot of people ask me, how do you fix it? I don't know because I don't, I don't fix it. It's not a fix all. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't fix my vision at all. I just kind of, it's more of a fake it till you make it thing, but I feel like I already made it. So I'm, I'm good. I'm good with where I, I don't mind wearing glasses forever because I've already had them since I was four. So like, who cares anymore, right? Like, it's not even like a big thing. It's just, it's just a thing now. It's just a part of me, basically. Glasses have always been a part of me. Um, but yeah, so those are some frequently asked I'm dead, I'm gone. Okay, I don't. So that is some frequently asked questions about my eye. Um, it's just so hard to explain to people who, who don't have, first of all, who don't wear glasses. Because like, I don't know if you guys ever seen that part of, have you guys ever watched Twilight Zone? Well, the dude always just wanted to be alone and he had glasses and he just wanted to be alone and read and then like the apocalypse happened or something and then like he was going to read a book and his glasses fall off, fell off. <laughs> like, that's the one thing he wanted and now he can't see. It's like, it's like, <laughs> that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. What are... I just remember because I always thought that was like really sad. Like, oh, the one thing he wanted. And it's gone. It's just like, it's so sad. But, um, but I felt for that guy because I was like, glasses, I know. And I always worry about that, like in a zombie apocalypse, like it's, it's not gonna happen, but like it's gonna happen. And um, I'm always like, dude, if someone like breaks my glasses or I lose them, I'm pretty like, I'm pretty fudge muckered because I can't see that well. And my friend's just like, get an eye patch. And I was like, well, pfft. Hey, that, I mean like you don't have depth perception anymore, but hey, I get to kill zombies. I got a cool eye patch. I just, I just look awesome. I'm gonna be like, yeah, a zombie took my eye. You don't tell them it's because my eyes like, right? That takes away the scare factor. If you come up to somebody and you have a big sword and you're like getting ready to like, yeah, somebody and they're looking at you and it's like, oh God, what happened to you? And it's just like, a zombie took my eye. And then you stab them. You don't like, come up to them and they're like, what did you do? What happened to your eye? And you go, I miss so tropia. No, that's not, it doesn't give, that doesn't give off enough. Ah! Like, you know, you feel like I survived a zombie taking my eye. Or I sometimes goes in without me telling it to. That's, it's not, it's not that scary. It's more like, that's stupid. And I'm like, well, you die now. And it just, but um, I've gone way off track. Ridiculous. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But anyways, yeah, so those are some frequently asked questions from some people I know. And I might, if there is enough questions from you guys, I might make a part three. Who knows anymore? I mean, I I was so caught off guard by the fact that this video or this uh the lazy eye video did so well that you know it just makes me feel really good. And um you know, if you guys have any more questions or anything, I, I could probably get my friends in here. They could answer some questions for you. You know, it's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. Whatever you guys want, I'll give it to you. Concerning lazy eyes. Okay. So I hope that helped you guys out at least a little bit because if it didn't, then that really sucks for you guys. Steve, Steve, Steve-o, Stevie Wonder, Steve Steven Universe, Steve from Blue's Clues, Star Lord, <laughs> thank you buddy for all these awesome questions. I mean, these are really in-depth uh, questions. Questions? What in dill dangly is a question? I'm done. Thank you for all these questions though, cause these are really like in depth and they're really good questions that I didn't even think about some of these. I just hit the microphone, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about some of these, like top notch, like good job, buddy. Also thank you to the most adorable second grader in California, Ari.
One of my new BFFs. Ari. Ah! Do your vegetables and eat your homework. Wait. Don't do that. Do opposite of that. I'm not gonna make a good parent. Thank you to Mary who's been messaging me on Facebook. And uh, Mary, I'm gonna try this first. Mary Jewel Dill, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at names. Mary Jewel Del Cerna AU, AU Pan. I can Thank you to Mary Jewel Della Cerna AU Pan. Thank you. My new best friends, guys. You have made me feel awesome and really accepted about my eye. And most of you guys who have messaged me also have it. And I didn't know there were so many of us out there. And it's, I wish I knew you guys when I was younger so I wouldn't have felt so bad, you know, but um, this has been an awesome experience. A really eye-opening experience that I get to share with you guys. And it's like, ah, it feels amazing. Um, It's great. You guys have been fantastic. And I'll, I got a lot of responses from you guys. Um, ah, I got a text message. Just kidding. Apparently, the game theory, the game theorists are doing something live right now. I also like the game theorists, game theory. I, I call them game theory. And um, God, it's just ah, you guys are so nice. I can't even do this. I want I want to let you guys know that videos like this are made by. Like you, it's gonna be like small star, the rainbow. Anyways, guys, <clears throat> we have some stuff coming up here in the near future. We got Comic Cons coming up four days of amazing excitement and vlogging with yours truly and a couple of friends. It's gonna be great. Four different cosplays, many different events. Hopefully, we'll be able to interview some people. We'll be able to do some funny sketches. It's all gonna be videotaped here recorded videotape such an old word recorded and sent on your merry way to the youtube universe that is going to be happening may 25th through the 28th those are only the days that the videos are going to be recorded i cannot say when they're going to be uh released because they have to be edited they have to be uh add aud uh, different audios from different things it's just gonna be it's gonna be a lot and since i'm the only one who does it ever anything it's gonna be on me, so right after Comic-Con, I will get on that. I can't do any promises of me working through Comic-Con because it's gonna be a lot of work and I just can't, you know, do everything at once as much as I try. <laughs> Late nights for this person, this girl again. I just punched that microphone again. I'm so sorry if you just hear a bunch of punches. It's just because I like to hit my equipment when I'm mad, which is all the time. No, it's not. But anyways, so, don't forget to check that out. Um, all, any and all support that you guys can give is highly recommended. <clears throat> um, I've been thinking about doing some other videos soon. We we actually have some stuff on a GoFundMe to make some fun, uh -huh. some fun stuff right here. Some fun stuff, and um, it's gonna be amazing. Hopefully. And with your support, we can make a bunch of cool stuff. And it's all up to you. And don't forget to check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter over here. And I have a Tumblr, but I'm not sure how often I can update that. It just, I keep hitting the microphone. <laughs> okay. So, um, thank you guys for checking this out. And hopefully, if you guys like this enough, I will make a part three. What is it going to be? No idea. It's up to you. Anyways, so I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yeah.